Begin with the quickly widening FIFA corruption scandal, which erupted one week ago when seven officials were arrested. While pleading his innocence, Sepp Blatter was re-elected to a fifth term as president of football's world governing body on Friday, only to resign on Tuesday. And while his surprising decision to step down was welcomed by many, the 79-year-old Swiss was given a 10-minute standing ovation by some 400 supporters when he returned to FIFA headquarters in Zurich yesterday. CCTV's Dan Williams has the latest. A new day, but for FIFA, there is no escaping the worldwide interest in its affairs. While Sepp Blatter may have decided to step down, the FIFA corruption scandal continues. Well, it's understood that Sepp Blatter held an emotional staff meeting that ended in a standing ovation. This is, after all, a man who has spent 40 years here, 17 as president. But on the whole, his resignation has been warmly welcomed around the world, and there are others who feel this should be just a starting point. Jamie Fuller has been a key critic of Blatter's, having founded the new FIFA Now campaign at the beginning of the year. Well, certainly I was extremely pleased when Mr Blatter stepped down because it was a good first step. Uh, but there's a hell of a long way to go and we can't afford to be complacent. We can't afford to think that the job's done because what we have here isn't just a Sepp Blatter problem, it's a FIFA problem. And when police arrived at FIFA's headquarters, there was a suggestion that events were about to take a dramatic twist. It's not normal that the police just turn up unexpected at your front door, given the context of what's going on. Are they here to talk to Mr. Blatter? Do you think that they were hostile to me? No, I'm not. No, uh, but that's why I'm asking no. what's going on. No. Why are they here? We are relying on them. You are relying on them? Yeah, we are hoping for assistance. Is this to do with the Swiss Attorney no, General's investigation? No, not. But it's not. It was later explained that police had arrived for an expected pro-Palestinian protest at FIFA's headquarters. In Johannesburg, some 8,400 kilometers away, a further development and a denial. South Africa says it made a $10 million payment to the Caribbean Football Union in 2008. But it was not a bribe to secure the 2010 World Cup. We still need the United States authorities to share with us the basis of their allegations. The fact that a payment of 10 million rands, US dollars, was made to an approved program above board does not equate to bribery. Those who allege should prove their allegations. With two criminal investigations continuing to probe FIFA, football's governing body faces an uncertain future. Dan Williams, CCTV, Zurich.